Hi everyone, welcome back to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I have come up with the festive collections of this trendy designer blouse. So, wanna learn how to create this traditional trendy blouse? Let's get into the project. I'll be drafting the pattern. The pattern has to divide into two layers margin line on the top, leaving quarter inch. So, the required length is 15 inches. That I'm gonna divide into 11 inches for the bodice and 4 inches for the patu lace or the border of the sari blouse. And I'd be drafting the boat neckline. So mark the shoulder length of 7 and of inches. And on that line, I'd be marking the shoulder line of 2 and of inches. Mark the shoulder slope 1 inch. Connect that to the neckline. And the back neck deep, I'd be marking 2 inches. Connect that to the neck length measurements and mark the armhole length of 6 and of inches, chest line 9 and of inches. Connect all these points. Take a note that I am marking the quarter part of the body measurements. Mark the midpoint on the armhole. Connect the chest line and the midpoint of the armhole with the curved line. And mark the lower bust measurements of 8 and of inches. Connect that to the chest line. And as I said, the bodice is dividing into two layers 11 inches and 4 inches. From the center back, leave margin amount of quarter inch. And mark the leaf shape like this with the dotted lines. If you think you got the perfect shape, then connect all the dotted lines see the shape would look like this you can either increase or decrease the size as per your requirement now give the seaming elements of one inch towards sides quarter inch towards armhole and the shoulder line and one centimeter towards the neckline As I'd be joining the bias to this shape, so I'm cutting as it is. It's up to you if you want to decrease in length of this shape, then you can give the seaming elements, then add that bias to this shape for the final finishings. Now I've done with the drafting of the main bodies of the back. The front also you can go with the boat neck normal blouse or the princess seam blouse and for this project I'll be using this pure patu or the silk border with the beautiful floral and temple design and for the bodice I'll be using this tassa silk Fold the back piece into two and on the fold place this draft and mark it. On the draft I marked for 12 inches with an half an inch of seaming elements towards the down of the lower bust line. Mark the draft pattern accordingly. And for the front panel you can go with the same boat neck line. Keeping the down of 1 inch that is 3 inches neck deep and the shoulder line of 2 and half inches same. This tessa silk is the skinny fabric and I am not joining any lining to this bodice because nowadays it is trending that for the knit and the skinny fabrics we are not joining the linings. Give the notch towards the sides and if you open the two panels it would look like this and I will also give the slit on the center neck. And this is the bias of 1 inch in width. Now 
Now I'll place the right side of the bias on the right side of the bodies. Align and start sewing. Joining from the neckline. The bias will flexibly move near the curved turnings. So it till it reaches to the center back neckline. Hold the bias and turn to another side. Let the needle be in and turn to another side. Holding like this. And start sewing on the shape. Keeping the bias. Ensure to run it friendly. Do not stretch the bias or the shape of the layer given. After joining the bias, it would look like this. Now turn the bias and the left seaming towards another side and give the top stitch. These fabrics are very sensitive. So be cautious when you are sewing. Both necks and high necks are very much trending. These designs have become quite common. Have you ever seen yourself on how you look with the blouse that covers yourself till your neck? It really gives the stunning look. The simple variations in the traditional blouses will not only define the feminine to give justification to the traditional saris you should definitely try this trendy blouse which is an indeed a head turner at any event as the silk saris is enriched with rich zari heavy in border and the pallu will enhance your charm with Simple high neck blouses, festive collections are lined up. Stay tuned for more trendy and classy designs. Now turn the bias towards the wrong side and give the top stitch. I would suggest you to give the hand hem as this is for the video purpose. I would be giving the top stitch. As this tussle silk is starch in nature, here you can see the folds but when you press it, it will compress and gives extraordinary look when you wear. You can also try this with raw silk, banares, net, lace for the top layer of the body. Follow the same instructions for another side and sew it. Now coming to this lace. It's 20 inches in width and 4 inches in length. The required width of the blouse is 17 inches and remaining 3 inches for the dart and the seaming elements. It is also paired with the lining with the same measurements. Fold it into two and give the slit. Now this right side lace I would be placing on the right side of the bodies like this and underneath the lining hold all the three together and start sewing. Ensure all the three raw edges should meet and the center should be the bodies. You can see here the bodies part is ending now continue sewing joining the lining and the and the silk bordered lace now turn towards the pretty side it would look like this give the gentle press the top slit of the neck and the border slit should match now roll the bodies of the top layer inserting in the center 
Hold the pretty side of the lining and the silk lace. Join both together and sew it. Ensure you keep away the bodies and join only the silk lace and the lining. Now pull inside bodies out slowly. Turning all right sides on the top and moving raw edges inside. See this is how it looks. Give the gentle press on this lining and the border so that the underneath seaming allowances should settle properly. This is how it looks after pressing. Now I'll give the top stitch on this border edging. These silk laces are very expensive. So if you are trying this for the first time, please try this on the scrap. If you are enough confident, then try this on your pretty wear. Now give the darts. This is how it looks. Follow the same instructions for another side to complete the pattern. I'm ready with the two panels of the back. Now it's time to join the strips for hook and eye straps to the center slit of this silk lace. I wish you all my dears happy onam may these festive celebrations will fill your home with happiness and joy spread your love with your dear ones Please do concentrate on the finishings and the neatness. You can also try this for the party wear, casual, for the lehenga tops, which will be an eye catching outfit. I'm done with the joining of the strips towards the center back. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Try this for your loud ones that love to wear it. Having any doubts relating to this video, do write to me in the comment section just below the description box. The final appearance is just awesome. Please try like and share. Loads of festive collection is lined up. Subscribe to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. See you with another interesting video.